everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We want to be with you hosting uh, Jar Kapah, uh, Donald Nadrafki, and thank you so much, guys, for, uh, to be here now. Uh, uh, for any time, uh, you can turn on or off your microphones. And today, this radio program is about to give results with UN method, the science of the immediate results created by Dr. Kam Yuen. And um, we want to be with you um, having this topic about take action and be brave. So I want to introduce you with Jarka and Don. Hello, Jarka. Hello, Don. Hello, this is Dawn. Uh, hello, Lori. Uh, Yarka's still working on her microphone there. I'll go and help her out when we're done. But welcome, everyone, to the show. We're going to take action. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. OK, um, I see she has her microphone open. So Jarka, can you talk to us? Yes, I, I took action. And Amazing. I, <laughs> So it worked out well, great. I took action. Uh, I unmute myself. Thank you very much for having me, Laura. Hello, everybody. Hello, Laura and Dawn again, and Miriam. Um, today we are taking action to improve ourselves and up empower ourselves and everybody else around us. And... Um, I'm just going to say, what is it about UN Method? UN Method, everybody probably already heard that or read it on websites. It's based on binary system, strong or weak, and it's a, a biocomputer, our biocomputer, and how is related to our body, mind, and spirit. So that's all important uh, triads hexagon, octagons, all geometric figures we are working with in the UN method. Everybody can learn that. It's not um, complicated. We just have to take actions and get results. So UN method is the method about results, immediate results and the final resolution. Um, that's back to you, Lori. Okay. Well, uh, in first place, like uh, uh, we are very thankful that you guys are joining us, and thank you, Jarka, for this uh, the, um, this these words, this what you what you tell us about UN methods. So, yeah, it's like really is very very amazing, and we're just spreading UN method around the world and. In this part of the world, in Canada, so we have not too long uh, that we just start, but yes, we are taking some action so we can let know to more and more and more people about all of this and all of these results, doesn't matter if it's about relationships, finances, health, and any aspect of our lives. So... We wanna, uh, I wanna start doing some strengthening. So it's not about to make any reflections or think about it. It's just about to feel the results in ourselves. It's about to see the results in our lives. It's about to see the results like something that is happening in our lives and for our family or any other things that we get to strength with UN method. So uh, in, in personal, uh, talking about me, yes, it was uh, maybe not that easy. I used to remember when I was uh, taking action at the time, I wanted just improve my life. I, and then I just uh, 
find out about UN method and how quickly I could just have results for me, my family. And I was like, uh, yeah, an immigrant in, in this country, in Canada. But it has been pretty interesting that every, how everything has turned out for myself and the people around. I mean, my family and, and, and my, the surroundings and everything. And I just keep improving myself. And now I am uh, as well uh, helping. Well, I don't, we don't use that word like help, but yeah, supporting others and making a uh, happen results for others. So we just want to tense and untense our midline. And the midline for those that they 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 don't feel related to this uh, is just like a imaginary line that divide our body. So we want to tense and untense and separate the mind, separate separate the spirit as well. Here we want to delete emotions. We want to separate and delete emotions and reactions. Let's delete as well. Uh, it feels here in this group like sadness. It's like, or like not feeling motivation. Just say, uh, uh, I'm just uh, talking to or putting some words, but actually it's just about to feel just like I said before. So let's separate all of that from each one of us. Let's separate the whole thoughts we have about future. But more, we, we don't think too much about which actions. It's more about um, what we see about ourselves in the future. So let's separate those thoughts in the future about ourselves or how we see ourselves. But actually, we are projecting the past. Not even, it's not even from the present. It's from the past. I want to separate anything that is coming from ancestors or family and the collective or the people that surround us, doesn't matter if we know them or not. So let's separate and delete all of those things that are weakening us. Let's separate the weakness from each one of us or between us. And let's train as well the empty spaces. We wanna delete the mind from our spine. We wanna delete the mind from the subconscious, conscious, and unconscious in that order. We wanna just, uh, I just wanna make even, anytime you take action or whatever make us to take action from, from the whole times that we don't. Because we can be uh, conscious or not conscious, we do or not to do. So. I just want to separate this and make it even for each one of us. And I want to do this as well for your family, ancestors, people that we're connecting, conscious and unconscious that in there uh, could be from our neighborhood, our city, the country. Now I just want to strengthen that holes other dimensions, universe, and delete it to the 100% infinite time inf and beyond infinity. So now, I would love to see maybe anything that you, you may not feel that you're not taking action, how that, how that makes you feel, or if it's just a something you want to strength about, uh, of course, to take actions so you can see results. Okay, uh, from here, Don or Yarka, would you like to continue? Thank you so much. Uh, sure, uh, this is Don here. I would like to just explain a little bit about taking action from the UN perspective. So, to take action really is to get your answer, is to get the answer. 
using your intuition. So we have a great triad called manifestation triad, and it's answer, action, and results. So in order to get your answer, you have to use your mind and ask the question, whatever it is that you would like to ask. Then you send the mind away, and you tune into your physical intelligence to get your answer. Strong or weak, yes or no, it's by how you feel. And then you come back to your mind and you implement that action. Whatever answer you got, you take action based on that answer from the physical intelligence. And that's when you get results. And people, you know, find it difficult to get results. And there's many things that could get in the way. Stagnation, misinformation, fears and phobias, memories of things. You tried that once and you're never going to do it again or whatever. False tools. So I'm going to strengthen the people listening and their families and extended families for taking action to delete the stagnation, misinformation, fears and phobias, the unpleasant memories, and the false tools they use that keeps them in that state of stagnation. Because the future is about taking action. So I strengthen all of you to take action. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Don. Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, Don. I um, may I ask, um, may I add to this, please? Um, I would like to strengthening everybody, um, wherever Don and Laura said, um, taking actions. It's um, taking actions to look at your own self, how we speak, the actions, the words and the power, uh, we take actions uh, to observe ourselves. The words have, has power, every word have power, every, um, every thoughts, every action has power. So all that has to be taking consideration and taking um, our responsibility to look at how we speak, how we think, and what we are doing. That's the action. And, and then we empower ourselves. It's a natural way. It's easier to connect with our negative thinking. I don't want to do this. I don't like this. Uh, it's too difficult and takes years to practice. But when we reverse that, say, yes, I will look into that. I will find the right answer. I will take the action on that right answer. When we take that as a consideration and connect with our feeling, our perceptions, and we will have an automatic intuition, automatic insight, and right answer will take the right action, and we will have results, and we will feel improved, empower ourselves. It takes a little bit of bravery because nobody would like to uh, criticize or look at our, how they speak. But once we do that, it will become automatic and we will realize one thing, we do have a responsibility for our own self and for others. And as you say, Laura, we need to empower everybody and support everybody around the world because that energy of the words goes everywhere, not to our loved ones, but it's go beyond that. It goes to the countries, planet, and other universes, and other time and space. And that we have to really think about what are we saying. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Yarka. Okay, so uh, we can just feel how we figure ourselves, slow or with speed. So it's not that one is better than the other. So we just want to be neutral but feeling good with our own speed. So just let's separate slow, no slow, speeding, no, no speeding. I just want to delete here traumas, fears, limitations uh, from the mind, the mind, the spirit. I want to delete some resistance. We want to interpret everything we see. So let's delete that because that's weakening the, the insight, that's, that's weakening the, or intuition, and, and even just connect with the correct answers. So let's train this. Let's connect with the stronger with the physical intelligence. And let's separate that uh, our physical intelligence is feels just in a 70% in this group. We want it to 100% and beyond. So now it's 80. I'm deleting from the past not connecting to the future, so it's not weakening it. Now I'm strengthening a negative experiences with relationships we have had and weakness and, uh, on our feet. Stomach, not and now not connecting with worries and all those stuff that at some point don't let us just to go ahead. Just about to go ahead, not about if we do or not do, not to do. Slow, no slow. Let's separate everything from our family and ancestors that they were feeling so slow, but because they were slaves or they were feeling like being slaves from themselves because the mind and karmas and because the spirit. So let's delete this. The everything that is weakening the action for the future or future. Let's delete the weakness in that that is on the, the bottom of our feet. About give us direction, but the correct direction. So let's strain here the perception, our perception, and feeling. We want to tense and untense. Let's delete emotions, but this is coming from other influences from people that, are, that surround us. Let's strengthen the, the place, the city the, where, where we are, every, every one of us. Uh, there's the people that is uh, all around us, they're like, there's too much wandering. Too much wondering, too much questions, and the too much thinking as well. So let's separate that from our body, our spirit, and the mind. Let's separate as well this so it's not weakening us in our central nervous system from the midline and as well from physical intelligence. Let's separate that we're so just just to make sure we're not weakening the the animals that surround us and let's train the ground or the earth, the floor in our in our homes. Let's separate the negative experiences from the people that is in our city or town. Let's separate anything about losing. So when you want to do something, you are not thinking that you want to lose or thinking that you should wait. So let's separate this as well. 
any time that you want to say something, but people didn't let you. So you didn't, you felt that you didn't went uh, ahead and you feel stuck. So let's delete all those negative experiences when you were feeling that you were stuck and going nowhere and just became in frustration. But this is from the mind, coming from the mind, from our past. And let's delete it from the future. In first place, coming from our ancestors and the whole collective that, that was weakening our ancestors as well in, in their own projects, they make to wait to our ancestors to improve in anything they wanted in life. And even their family or families, they, they didn't get better or didn't have any progress or more progress. It's not that there was no progress, but not not uh, something just uh, uh, something better. How how you guys are you feeling? I would like to to see something here in the chat, some dynamic. Maybe maybe we can just write how how we feel. Same or different. And Don, would you like to add something to this? Thank you. Uh, sure. Hello. Um, I was working on Carlos there, so uh, maybe Carlos can let us know how he's how he's feeling. Uh, yes, I would like to strengthen people back to stagnation. To me, that's the largest and the largest, <laughs> most prominent weakness I see. So I'm strengthening everyone for stagnation because stagnation has many different faces. For everybody, stagnation means something different. So I'm going to go through all of the listeners and I'm going to strengthen each one for their specific stagnation weakness. Okay. And now we have to strengthen them to accept themselves the way they are, strengthen them to take action from where they are right now. Like wherever you are right now, you can take action from this point moving forward. So we're going to strengthen everyone for that and delete all of the times that that didn't work, that all the times that they did that and they failed or they were ridiculed or they were rejected. So we delete all of those situations. And now we look, we balance right to left, left to right. Right brain, left brain. Have the feet connected to the head, head connected to the feet, the mind connected to the head, head connected to the mind. So that they can go fluidly from the mind to the physical intelligence, and back to the mind, and back to physical intelligence, whenever they need to, to get the answer they need to take action to move forward. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Don. Jarka, will you like to go ahead? Yes, thank you. Um, gentlemen, uh, he said, I feel very tired and passive, feeling it's strong or weak. I am very tired and passive. So those three words, tired, very tired and passive. Passive, it's first weakness. Very, it's second weakness. And third weakness, it's tired, coming from ancestors. That's a primary weakness, body, mind, and spirit. All the spiritual experience, when people ask you to do something, take actions, it's... Um, put you in a state of stagnation and blockages. So I'm going to strengthen you for that and from somebody else. And that's the words. People didn't listen to you. You didn't listen to another people. Uh, besides this gentleman, if he can be so kind and write the feedback, that would be great. Also, I strengthen everybody for speed of planet. I speed up my speech, my uh, words, um, speed of planet is speeding up. We are not. 
as computers are faster, better, we are not. So we have to match our speed taking actions to uh, our surroundings. Our surroundings to take action and see what is really going on. And that will give us the right answer and we take the right action. Even if we don't take the action, it's still the right answer and still something happening. So um, that's, um, that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you, Yaka. Well, uh, the difference is the, the results that people produce comes down to what they're done differently from others in the same situations, like different actions produce different results. And even just talking about this, I'm in, in at some point of my life right now that <laughs> I'm feeling to take different actions to get different results in in a lot of tasks that, that I do actually. And it's something that we can we can take as well. And this is because any action is cause set in motion and its effects builds in on past effects to more us in a definite direction and if we want to direct our lives we must take control of our consistent actions it's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives but what we do consistently so we can say what precedes all of our actions or what determines what actions we take and therefore um, who we become on, on or what our ultimate uh, destination is in life. And I'm, I'm just mentioning this because, and we're taking as well this topic because um, Dr. Kam Yuen, who created this amazing method, he has been talking a lot lately about take action and, and we can say that decision is what uh, is what we take at the end to take action. When we make a decision about something, so then we do something. But even when we don't take a, or we don't have a decision, uh, at the same time we are. Uh, taking action and about not not doing it just not doing it and at some point we're not just feeling like that good just saying like with our body but still that's not a block that's not a something that is not letting us to go ahead a, and obviously we are not like like that really bad like for to move and stuff but yeah, let's uh, let's separate uh, those those weaknesses that that and we are not uh, when when we are not taking decisions. Doesn't matter if they're right or wrong. Doesn't matter. It's just about to take action. Um, like we can have a decision for to take some uh, action from for what we want. And in the way, surely we find out for more ideas and being creative because that's something that all of us will have. So let's strain here any confusion and once I'm feeling this, it's about or the time that we are at school and studying. And I want to delete it from any time that we still studying something, but every time we want to understand. And even Dr. Kam had tell us this word is weak just because this uh, is, ab is about to be under. So let's separate this from each one of us. Let's separate everything 
that is not really making a difference in our lives to go ahead or to feel even better with ourselves, our work, our home. It's just the impact we're having in our lives and people's lives. Now I want to make it even. Body, mind, spirit for each, each one of us. Let's uh, strength as well the empty spaces. Let's delete any no the, uh, anything from the people that is at home that is not taking actions and even not taking any decisions, of course. So let's separate all of this. Let's separate anything that make us to be uh, slow and just quitting. And we're quitting in the non-conscious. So let's delete this. And right now I'm just feeling uh, to the leading uh, weaknesses that are coming from uh, the month of August and from the stomach. The stomach, then it's our, our head. There's some kind of sadness, but this is, this is not coming from us. It's from other people. Other people that is say uh, that we just don't know, but it's like, it feels like begging. So let's separate this. Let's separate from, uh, so it's not weakening the central nervous system or midline and the physical intelligence. Let's be strong uh, with our physical intelligence. And let's separate anything that is bugging, uh, bugging us from our, our body, our physical body. Let's delete the, the mind from any movement or anything we are uh, from the perception because anything that we just see from in our, our eyes, we want to give an interpretation because anything we see has a or brain process anything we were to see with our eyes and we want to interpret it. So let's separate this. Let's separate any in misinterpretation or misinformation. Let's separate that when it's a, just like anything that we are repeating any confusion, but mostly coming from others about how things should be or how things we how we should do things or act feel think let's separate all of this from others so we're stronger with our physical intelligence there's a lot of critical so let's separate this criticism in, in first place from ourselves if we want to do right or wrong. And it's like we're not strong when other people see us or how, how others feel when they get to see us. So let's separate this. If you feel confident or not confident, or even when you think you are, but actually the weakness, the, the weakness is in the non-conscious. Now I want to make even past, present, and future. Let's train the dynamics for each one of us, and let's train the dynamics uh, so we are strong being by ourselves or in group. Let's separate anything we, we haven't feel uh, good, like for to take a risk. This is more uh, when we were younger, and I'm not saying a, a specific age. So let's separate these things, and let's separate that it's not weakening you any opportunities that you didn't take from before, from uh, in your past. So it's not weakening your future, but actually anything you are doing right now. Okay, so where we feel, how are we feeling? Same or different? 
Maybe you can share it with us, please. Okay, so if there's something uh, else to add, we just have two more minutes and we're done. Uh, Jarka and Don, would you like to, to share something? Thank you. Uh, sure, uh, this is Don here. I would just like to do a closing strengthening of for everyone to open the exit portals and let all of that stagnation, resistance to moving forward, whatever it is that's holding them back, the energetic aspect of it can send it out the exit portals. And then I'm going to strengthen you for fitness. And the fitness, which applies to everything in life, is strength, endurance, flexibility, coordination, agility, and speed. So when these are balanced and applied to whatever it is you decide to do, whether it's making a decision, taking action, saying no, saying yes, uh, postponing something, whatever this, wherever you are in that moment, you have that strength of speed and fitness to assist you in making your decisions in the future and taking action and being brave. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don. Hello, Yarka. Hello. Um, I would like to close uh, today with a Chinese proverb. When someone shares something of value with you and you benefit from it, you have a moral obligation to share it with others. So strengthening everybody for sharing it, taking action to share this UN method and empower yourself and others and make it easy and elegant and benefits to everybody with results. Thank you very much for having me today. Thank you, Don and Jarka, but mostly thanks to the audience that joined us today. And thank you so much as well to Madame Chubak that is joining us here. And she's the a private assistant from Dr. Kam Juen. Thank you. Um, the next topic, of course, want to be associated to this one. So we are having just, uh, you know, something related to. And then we are deleting as well, of course, a lot of things that we want to improve, like deleting any uh, massive pain associated to, to anything we, we don't get to do or go ahead or move, move forward with whatever we want in life, improving in, in our health, relationships, uh, many other aspects uh, probably the next radio program if the, uh, you guys are agree you are can do that maybe we can open the microphones and and strengthen some people live so for now thank you so much we want to be here every monday uh, at uh, 6 p.m from colonna bc and 7 p.m calgary time and 9 p.m. from Toronto, Canada. So bye bye now. This is Laura Hatton and Jar Kapach and Don Nafrowski. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.